What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brian Nima. So today we are doing a figure review of Master Chief from Halo 4. Let's go! So here is Master Chief outside a box. Before we got into this review, question of the day. Which Halo game got you interested, like got you started in this universe? Um, for me, it was Halo 1. Um, I played when Halo 1 first came out and on Xbox and it was what just basically draw me in and especially the the gameplay with uh, my family and my brothers my cousins and all that stuff was really really fun and I just really got into the game practicing all day doing headshots on that sniper while running doing all those things was so much fun so the question of the day is what game which game of from the Halo uh, franchise got you into it comment down below um, so Let's go check out the accessories, and then after that, we'll check out Master Chief itself. So looking at the accessories, Master Chief does come with two fisted hands, two trigger hands, and the comms hand. It does come with the sticky detonator gun. Looking kind of dull. I wish there was more paint application on it. Uh, it's okay. Um, it's all right. But the rail gun, though. The rail gun looks amazing. I, I really like it. It really does look really good. I mean, I know you could... Customizers out there can probably do more to this to make it even more more looking epic But overall it is a looking good looking railgun. So yeah, that's pretty cool So that's all the accessories that Master Chief come with and then now let's go check out Master Chief himself So looking at the sculpt work of Master Chief, it looks really nice. I really like this uh, Texturing on his suit looks really really good. I, I really like that um, it does not go all... Actually, you know what? Yeah, it actually does go all the way around. So that, it looks really good. The paint application looks great. Um, it is a very dull green compared to the bright other green that we're used to. Um, I believe because this is a... Yeah, this is for Halo 4, right? So Halo 4, he was a little bit... Uh, this paint application was a little bit duller. Uh, but it looks really good. It has this silver wash finish on the like battle damage. It looks really, really good. Um, the jetpacks look really great. I wish the packs would open and stuff, but it does not. I wish it would be, that'd be cool. Um, yeah, overall it looks really, really nice. The paint application all the way to his feet. Um, I wish the stamp was not there, but it is what it is. Uh, at first I thought it was like, oh, what's that, a code? But no, <laughs> it looks really good all the way around. Yeah, it looks really great. So overall the application and everything with a visor looking epic the way it is, as always, it is the Master Chief thing looks really good um so yeah i think the sculpt work and paint application they have it all there oh one thing i wanted to mention some people were saying that this is actually a repaint of just the infinity um halo uh, master chief but if you look at side to side they are totally different there's different sculpts to this um if you look at the shoulder pads they are totally different uh the chest plates are really different they're not the same thing um so yeah, at first I thought it was the same thing too, but no, I'm looking close to it. Even the jetpacks in the back, totally different. They're not the same. Um, yeah, overall, it's a v overall new sculpt. Uh, so that's really great. And yeah, even the helmet to the helmet, right? Looks really good. But, you know, this is probably still my favorite Master Chief. I know I didn't do a review of him, but, you know... I got this first. I was so excited to open it. I just opened it. Not even. Now let's look at the articulation of the Halo 4 uh, Master Chief. So for articulation of Master Chief, the head does go down a little bit and it goes high up. So you can look really up. So that's pretty good. It feels like there's two two clicks to that. Click, click. Yeah, if you know what I mean. I don't know. Um, the arm does go up that far. The arm does go back all the way. It's a 360. Um, it does go out that much that's cool um it is double jointed elbows right there yeah that much and then it has uh arm swivel right here so that's cool and then the wrist has swivels and it hinges left and right um up and down i mean the waist does go far this down much and doesn't go back that much it just yeah and then the legs doesn't go far at all huh that much uh so you can kick forward it doesn't go back because of the the butt piece it has double jointed knees 
so yeah you can do some some cool poses it just looks really weird right that looks really weird that, i think that's really weird that's so the proportion is kind of off right there um and then the feet does go up and down and has this weird kind of angle swivel and it has a toe hinge that doesn't hinge at all so i don't know what the point of that thing being there and oh yeah i forgot there is a swivel right here as well so yeah that is the articulation of master chief it does semi good and there are some pointless ones like the toe i don't think there, there's a purpose for that but overall looks good so now let's go give the score to Master Chief. I think the sculpt and everything, for me sculpt wise and everything looks a five. I give it a five for the sculpt work. It looks great. The paint application looks great. Uh, the texturing looks great. So I give it a five for aesthetics. Um, for playability though, there are some things I wasn't able to do because of just the, the, the waist doesn't do enough for me. I have to give it, unfortunately, out of five, I will give it a three uh, on articulation. So with that being said, overall, I give this figure an eight, an eight out of 10. I think it's really good um, for aesthetics and then a three for, for just playability overall. So yeah, Master Chief gets an eight out of 10. And now let's go look at some pictures that I took posing this guy with the other Master Chief as well because they look so epic together. Why not? And then after that, I'll say my goodbyes and thank yous to the people that are watching this video. Let's go check it out. So I just want to take this time to say thank you to everybody that watched the video. Please leave a like if you did enjoy this video. And also, if you haven't already, subscribe and share. And also turn on the bell notifications. That way you can see the next video dropping um, in this channel. For now, everybody, thank you so much. And goodbye. Good say goodbye, Master Chief. Laters.